What's up guys, welcome to Mathematics for the 21st Century. This is my introduction to logic and proof based on my experience self-studying math uh, over the past couple of years or so. Really the goal of this series is just to get you to the point where you know enough math where you can go off and learn any mathematical area you want without getting bogged down by basic things like how to do a proof. So there are a lot of intro to proof and intro to mathematics courses out there but there are going to be a couple of really important things that are going to distinguish this course from every other one. The first is that we're going to be using space repetition and flashcards to encode the knowledge that we learn throughout the course. And this is going to make the learning process 10 times easier. You're going to have pre-made flashcards that you can review and I'm also going to teach you how you can create your own. The space repetition app that I'm going to be using throughout this course is called Remnote but you're welcome to use any other note-taking or flashcard app that you personally like to use. It, it literally doesn't matter and everything's free so you don't have to worry about paying for anything as well. Secondly, we're going to be using an interactive theorem proving language called Lean. Lean is a really interesting technology. I really credit it for helping me understand the basics of how to do a proof. Um, Lean will basically function as our digital tutor, giving us instantaneous feedback on our proofs. So we don't have to rely on our own knowledge to check that we did our proof correctly. We can outsource that completely to the computer, which will check our proofs for us. What I've gone ahead and done is I've created a plugin for Remnote, which lets you actually write lean code inside Remnote. And I've created templates for all of the exercises throughout the course. So you don't need to mess around setting up lean. If you're not a developer, that can be quite a painful experience. All you have to do is click install on a plugin and you'll immediately be able to open the lean code editor side by side with your notes. If I zoom in I can show you here. On the left you can have your notes written in LaTeX and then on the right you can try and prove it formally using the lean uh, interactive theorem proving language. So because this is probably the coolest part of the course I want to show you straight away uh, what it's going to look like to be proving things using the lean theorem proving language. Um, so over here I have a simple example of something that we'll prove later in the course. Uh, a implies uh, the negation of the negation of A. Uh, so if I click this button over here, you can see it opens uh, two panes. And now I can write lean code to try and prove the statement. And you can see, once I've written out the proof, which obviously won't make any sense to you at this point, but it will by the end of the course. But once I've written it out, the computer checks everything and it tells me if I've correctly proven the statement that I wanted to here. And the really interesting thing is, once you have a formal specification of how to do the proof, it makes it very easy to then go and turn it into flashcards or write a human understandable natural language version of the proof. So now what I'll quickly do is show you how you can get started with all of the resources and exercises. So if you come over to this Substack post that I wrote, it contains all of the chapters and all the links you need and all of the setup. This link will be in the description of this video. And if you scroll down, right at the bottom there's a list of chapters. So far there are seven chapters taking you from very basic propositional logic through to proofs and then down to classical reasoning. So what you're going to need to do now is click on one of these links and copy it. And then I'll show you how to get set up in Remnote so you can actually start reading them. So this is what you see when you navigate to one of the chapters. This is the first chapter, which is just a little bit of history about logic and provides some example flashcards so you can understand Remnote's unique syntax for creating flashcards. So at the top you have a preview of the different flashcards. And then if you scroll down, there are paragraphs introducing you to logic and going through the history and everything. So what you're going to want to do is, if you're using another space repetition system or note-taking app, maybe like Anki or Obsidian, it probably just makes sense for you to read each article in the Remnote community rather than saving it to a knowledge base if you don't want to sign up or anything like that. But if you are using Remnote, Definitely the best way to do things is to hit the save button over here and you're going to want to sign up to an account and then it will save it into your knowledge base so that you can actually uh, save your space repetition 
progress and you can also use the Lean Interactive Theorem Proving plugin that I built to do the exercises inside Remnote. Okay, so now you've signed up and saved all of the articles into your knowledge base, what you can do is look over here in the sidebar and click on this document. And then uh, you should be in this page and this is actually an editable Remnote document. So as you read through, if you want to make additional notes, for example here, you can add in extra text and flashcards if you want to. Uh, one thing that you can also do is at the end of each section, if you click on this button here to zoom in to a particular rem, you can practice only the flashcards that were introduced in that section. So that can be something that's quite useful to do if you find yourself reading through a full article, then practicing the flashcards and realizing that you've forgotten some of them at the beginning. I feel like it's better if you practice at least once the flashcards in each section just after having read them because that'll make it a lot easier to get them correct. So when you want to do that, you can click on this button here at the top, which says practice, and that will take you into the flashcard queue where you can start answering questions. So this one says, in the history of logic, uh, who's the ancient Greek philosopher and founder of formal logic? And I'd say Aristotle. And so since I got it correct, I can click easily recalled. Now let's say I forget the answer to this one, I can say forgot and it will ask me again later in the queue. So at a certain point in the course we'll get on to how to write proofs and that will involve using the interactive theorem proving language called Lean. So as I mentioned there's actually a Remnote plugin that I built which allows you to write Lean code inside Remnote. So what you'll need to do is set that up. Thankfully it's very simple. All you need to do is go over to the plugins marketplace over here and then if I click in the search box and type lean, then you'll see there's this lean theorem prover plugin to install. So if you press install and authorize, now it should be installed. So once it's installed, if I scroll down to the bottom of this article, there is this example, checking our proof in lean. So this is the first of the many exercises in mathematics for the 21st century and it involves clicking on this button over here which opens up the template for the exercise which is already filled out for you which you then have to complete yourself by writing lean code and so the, obviously the articles will go through how to write lean code so this part probably won't make sense to you but I'll show you how you can complete it and the different features of the code editor um, if I write have b from and dot write a b and then say exact and dot intro a b ah see I got confused yeah see so if you make a mistake it's just like a normal code editor embedded into your web browser so if you make a mistake in your proof effectively, the computer will tell you that's the beautiful thing about Lean because I found that without this feature, when I was trying to learn proofs and trying to write natural language proofs, it was easy to delude myself into thinking that I'd got something right when I'd actually made a mistake when I showed it to an actual mathematician. So here, for example, I'm trying to prove the statement A and B implies B and A. And what I've done is I've taken uh, the statement a and B and I've proved A and B <laughs> instead of B and A. So it's a completely pointless proof, basically. So if I swap these two around, now I've pr successfully proven the statement, my goals are accomplished, and I can feel very good about myself. Okay guys, so yeah, that's everything you need to know. I really hope you enjoyed this series. It's quite short, as I said, it's only seven or so articles to read and a bunch of exercises. If you get stuck on any of the exercises, which I I'm, I'm telling you now you probably will because some of them are hard. Uh, I certainly spent many hours uh, trying to solve some of them. But if you do get stuck, you're welcome to message me either on Twitter, at Xperia Learning, or if you join the Remnote Discord channel and go to the math section of the channel, then if you leave any questions there, either I or someone else who's experienced using Lean and who knows how to write mathematical proofs 
can guide you to help you solve the problems yourself. All right, guys, yeah, that's it for this video. I'm really excited to finally release this and I hope it helps you on your math journey. <laughs> All right, see you in the next one.